There is a conspiracy unfolding right now against Donald J. Trump by the Republican establishment and elite that's only giving him more credibility with the rising anti-establishment majority here in the United States. In this video, we're going to talk about all the cheating that's happening behind the scenes, all the conspiracies with the Republican establishment, changing rules and laws, creating a brokered convention, stealing away delegates, taking away the popular vote against this man, which they see as a threat. Now, as we are speaking, Ted Cruz has just won 34 delegates without even any votes being casted in Colorado. How did he do this? Well, we work in a system where the popular vote is usually represented by delegates. If a district votes primarily for Donald, Donald Trump, a delegate is designed to vote for Donald Trump. And you need these delegates in order to win the Republican Party nomination. But in Colorado, as of late August, officials within the Republican Party decided that they would not let voters take part in the early nomination process. This means the GOP executive committee has voted to cancel the traditional presidential preference poll after the National Party changed its rules to require a state's delegates to support the candidates that wins the caucus vote. Which means, pretty much, they just finagle the system where national delegates are won through a caucus process, a move that put the election of national delegates into the hands of party insiders and activists. One supporter made a public video calling the Republican establishment in Colorado just low-life pissants and described how he was a delegate voting for Donald Trump who was put off the list, removed from voting, and replaced from the district and was not able to cast his vote. This video obviously is going viral right now, showing just the discontention, just the anger by regular people who have trust into the system, surprisingly, who are getting screwed over. And if it wasn't surprising enough, the Colorado GOP Twitter account tweeted, we did it, hashtag never Trump, after announcing that Ted Cruz will win all the 34 delegates before the people even have a chance to cast their votes. Your votes do not ma matter in Colorado because the party establishment has changed the rules and they have designed this system in order to benefit the Republican insiders. This also happened in Virginia with Trump beating out Cruz by 30%, but yet Cruz still won a lot of delegates in that state. They just make up their own rules. Now, delegates are a lot more important than the popular vote. Obviously, Donald Trump has more of a popular vote than the majority of other presidential candidates running in the Republican Party. But Donald Trump needs 1,237 delegates in order to win the nomination in July's convention. If he fails to reach that number, it looks like he will now with all the Republican establishment changing all the rules in different states to make sure he doesn't win the delegates that he's appropriated to, even though he has the majority vote. It looks like it won't happen because right now, Donald Trump has 743 delegates. Ted Cruz has 545. And there's only 854 delegates remaining. This will create a brokered convention if no one gets over 1,237 delegates delegates. Now, a brokered convention is pretty much described under the presumption that power brokers will negotiate backroom deals in order to determine the ultimate nominee. Now, what will happen during this brokered convention? Well, there will be votes casted by the delegates. If a candidate does not have that majority, 1,237, there will be another vote. And with another vote, delegates who are bound to vote by their district to represent their district's popular vote will become unbound and will be able to vote for whoever they want. If there is a second vote that fails to reach that specific number, there will be a third vote and more delegates by each state will become unbound and therefore will be able to vote for whoever they want until they reach the majority of 1,237 delegates. This is the Republicans' plan. This is Ted Cruz's plan to get rid of Donald Trump, who still has the majority of the popular vote, making you and your vote mean nothing. Nada. Now, there's also an eight-state rule that has been applied towards Ron Paul in 2012. This rule was established to pretty much silence Ron Paul delegates in the 2012 
convention. Now, it is required under this new law that more than 50% of delegates in at least eight states, you, a candidate needs to win in order to secure the nomination. Trump has already done 11. He's already far succeeded that. But this rule could be changed to bring in other people who would be likely to be voted during this brokered convention. Who decides these rules? Obviously, the Republican establishment. They set up this rule to make sure that Ron Paul was not able to have a voice inside of the convention, and they could change that at any moment, deciding whichever anti-establishment candidate they don't like, just to make sure that they keep all the power. Now, why are people so vehemently against Donald J. Trump? Well, he wants to get rid of the Pentagon's budget. He wants to make sure that Congress is not run on corporate donations. He wants to make sure that public money is not just brought in by big corporation that lobbies and controls everything. Obviously, these lobbies, obviously, this huge money behind the scenes that really runs things in our political system is threatened. And that's why they're buying off politicians to change these rules. They're buying off the establishment to change these rules because they are threatened by Donald J. Trump. Now, Donald is not perfect in any way, shape, or form. In this video, which is a must-watch, which will be in the description below, we go over the good, the bad, the ugly, the amazing things about Donald Trump, giving you an honest perspective, showing you both sides of the coin when it comes to Donald Trump. We don't take a specific issue. We don't shill for Donald Trump like other independent news organizations who have even come out on record and said, yeah, the more we promote Donald Trump, the bigger our numbers are. We're not here to cater to an audience. We're not here only to grow our numbers. We're here to show you a true side of what's really happening in this world, which is a lot more important than just having a lot of numbers. You have to watch this video to get an unbiased perspective on who Donald Trump really is, the good and the bad. Now, who is the Republican establishment pushing? They're pushing this man, Ted Cruz, a globalist, neoconservative, Goldman Sachs, CFR connected scumbag who is sucking the teeth of the ruling elite right now, doing whatever he has to do in order to get into power. There's even mainline Republicans who are saying, we would rather lose with Cruz than win with Donald Trump. This is how much of a threat Donald Trump is to the Republican establishment. Now, this is very confusing. I hope we brought some clarification into how Donald Trump is being cheated by the very system that he is running for. Voting or not voting, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. This is only just the information that we are providing you about what's really happening in this world. If you want to support us, you want to see us grow, invest in us. Check out our store by going to We Are Change the Dark Store. Check out this new healthy emergency storable food, a new sponsor we got that works exclusively with us. And if you buy those products, you will also support independent media. We have to do this with your support because we're not funded by anyone but you. Thank you again so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We're going to have a lot more information coming here your way on youtube.com forward slash we are change.